Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to do an OSX recovery of your operating system on your Mac with just your computer or Wi-Fi connection getting it off the internet. First thing you need to do is look at your keyboard and find the Option Command and the R key. Once you do that, you would hit restart holding those three keys down and that will get you into this internet recovery mode. We're actually going to do it. We're going to hit restart and we're going to hold those three keys down, the option command and the R key. And we're looking to get the spinning wheel. If you're not already connected to the internet, here's where you can connect to the internet. You would just choose your Wi-Fi connection, put in your username and password, and then hit OK. And then you would get into the spinning wheel. Now, I'm doing this at very high speed, but once you're done, you should be able to see an OS utility come up right off the internet. First thing I recommend doing is go to Disk Utility, click on it, select your hard drive from the list on the left side. Your hard drive will usually be at the top left. This orange one, which is base system, is the internet um, boot system that you're looking at. So you'd hit your Macintosh hard drive on your internal drive and you hit repair disk. This will actually repair the disk. So if you're in a situation where you're at someone's house, you don't have a backup disk, you have no way of repairing it, and you want to do it off the internet, you could, in reality, use the same method to simply do a disk repair on your computer. You can also erase the drive. So if you're selling your computer and you want to go back to factory settings, you want to completely erase the drive, this is how you would do it. You also have the option to reinstall your OS X, which is what most people do, or restore it from a time machine backup. If you reinstall your OS X, then it's going to look for the original operating system that was on that computer. Now, I actually had a, a much later operating system on my computer, but it seems to know directly from my computer serial number what was the original OS that came on it. So if you really want to go back to factory defaults and clean up any crap that might have been on your computer that caused it to have problems, this is a good way of doing it. You at this point would simply hit continue and it would do it very slowly off the internet. So the downside of doing it this way is it takes a little bit more time, but you don't need any backup hard drive, system disks, or anything else, and it is a good way to do it. If you like the video, like the video, and please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for listening.